Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be on this fine planet. Today we're going to be talking about my new setup for my picture profile for pretty much run and gun shooting as of, what are we, May 2021. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. <laughs> That's right everybody, today we're going to be talking about my favourite or maybe not my favourite but the picture profile which I'm currently using on my Sony A7S III. Now since s 10 came out a couple of months ago, a few months ago, whenever it was as an update of PP11 on the Sony A7S III that's what I've been pretty much using for the majority of run and gun shooting to get these videos done with the least amount of color correction and you know plug and play basically imported cut 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 edit a little bit put some titles on and off you go now I have changed a little bit now and I've kind of one day thinking to myself s tone is great skin tones are great colors are great but the dynamic range is just not there especially now coming into spring coming into summer we're gonna have a whole lot of high contrast situation hopefully if summer does come eventually because spring has been a very disappointing but we're looking at kind of the you know the bright sun coming in bright blue skies sun means shadow somewhere along the lines and I'm just worried with using purely as Cinetone I won't get that full dynamic range and a full picture which I really want from my videos so if you haven't checked it already I'll put a link somewhere up here at the top is my S-Log3 versus s Cinetone video and I, over there I compare the colors, the dynamic range, so be sure to check it out if you haven't already. And then I was thinking to myself, well hang on a second, S-Log is a picture profile, but there's also a Cinetone color profile within any other picture profile that you wanna use. So I thought, what if I use an S-Log 3 picture profile, but under the color choice, I will choose a Cinetone to get those colors which I want and the skin tones which I really want. And Bob's your uncle and here we are. And this whole video, as you can see, has been done with S-Log3 with the S-Cinetone color profile under S-Log3. All the other settings are pretty much as standard as I've reset the picture profile to zero and just chose S-Log3 and s Cinetone as the color. And the only thing I've done is I've taken the detail down to minus seven. All the other settings remain the same. If you do have any questions about the settings or want them in more detail, put them down in the comments below. But tell me also in the comments what you think of this picture profile I am doing this on purpose with hardly any lighting in this room. I'm just using, it's cloudy outside, so I'm using just some natural daylight coming in from the window and a little mini LED just to, so you can see the shadows there and a couple of natural LEDs in the ceiling with a purple LED behind me. So no big fill light, nothing spectacular because I wanna see and show you guys the full potential of this picture profile. Now, the other thing you need to do is set the ISO. Old. What I've done, you may want to play around with it a little bit. I've set this ISO to automatic and I've dialed in the exposure compensation to 1.7, like you normally do for S-Log3. You know, you can play around with it 1.4 plus or plus two, up to you, but I found 1.7 is ideal for me and the ISO with these kind of lighting conditions is jumping from anything 1600 to 2000 which is pretty much 
a nice sweet spot for S-Log3. So again, let's have a look at the face. So you can see those skin tones and you know, I think I'll be going with this picture profile because the colors are there already. You just need to tweak a little bit to get the S-Log out of the equation. And for all of you that are wondering, right now I'll go back to the S-Log with no color grading, no color correction. So this is what it looks like straight out of camera. So you can get a rough idea. We're filming at f2.8 on the Sony G Master 16 to 35. Uh, currently at 24 frames and the shutter 1 over 50. So like I said before, this is for me the go-to picture profile at the moment. Setting exposure at plus 1.7 and the dynamic range should be there. And I know it is there because I've played around with it already and I'm very happy with the results. And color grading is very, very quick and easy because the colors are there from the S Cinetone color profile, which is in that S Log profile. So that's gonna to conclude today's short video. And like I said, if you can't choose between S Log 3 and S Cinetone, why not just put them all together and this is what you get. So this is my favorite picture profile currently for the Sony A7S III. Hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a try and tell me what your results would be. In the meantime, if you like the video, don't forget to thumbs it up, press that subscribe button, share it, and I'll catch you all in the next one, everybody. Goodbye for now.